Defensive jihad is basically your right to defend yourself if you've ever been attacked. However, there are conditions and there are limits that you have to abide by in order for this process to be correct. Does Islamic faith tell its followers to be negative? To just accept the attack with absolute passivity? Definitely no. Islam, like other faiths, like law, international law, tells individuals that they got to defend themselves when being attacked. But how can that defense happen? It happens not necessarily by power or force. It happens by resorting to the law, reporting the individual to the police. Otherwise, if a, each and every individual takes the initiative of punishing the person who has attacked him, then we will not have an organized society. We will end up having a chaotic society. Defensive jihad means that you got to stop those who are attacking you from attacking you. And if the attack has happened, then you got to defend yourself by resorting to the legal and the proper means of defense. And at the same time, you're not allowed to kill the attacker because there is a desire here to just commit a crime with an, uh, against another crime. Nor are you allowed to kill those who support the attacker. There is law and there is abidance by law. And this law is above me and everyone else. Therefore, if someone has infringed upon this law, has violated this law, I cannot violate the law when I'm actually responding to him. I got to abide by the law when responding and defending myself. Two wrongs do not, com do not make one right. And you cannot meet an offense with an offense in the same manner. You got to meet an offense with stopping that by proper defense. This is what defensive jihad means.